How does the magician perform black magic? The one who wants witchcraft performed, whether man or woman, goes to the magician and asks him to perform magic on someone. Or he may think that this person is not a magician, so he asks him to treat him or one of his relatives for some sickness. At this point the magician asks him for the name of the person on whom he wants him to perform witchcraft, and the name of his mother, and for something that belongs to him, such as some hair, nails, clothing, or his picture. But why does the magician ask about the mother's name, and not the father's name as he should? That is because the magician, and the jinn who are with him, are disbelievers who reject all religions and heavenly laws and mock them, so they do not acknowledge the lawful marriage contract. In the view of the magician, everyone who comes to him is illegitimate and born of adultery. They became smarter over time, making it much harder for ordinary people to see through them. Remember, the sorcerer tells one truth and 99 lies. Originally, they only asked for the name of the mother. Now, in order not to fall into the scheme and to distract, they ask for the name of the parents and even grandparents. After that, the magician counts the number of letters in both names. If he thinks that this name is closer to mud, Altine, he buries the charm in the ground. If he thinks it is closer to water, Almar, he puts it in water such as in a well. The magician puts the charm in a well or in the sea or he writes it on a fish if it is closer to water. And if it is closer to air he hangs it in a tree or a date palm, or on a wall. Then after that he bums incense as an offering to the jinn, because the jinn feed on incense that is burned as an offering to them. Every kind of witchcraft has its own special type of incense, 